Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for February 5th through February 11th. This is a weekly love reading, okay? So just take what resonates and leave the rest because this isn't for every single person. I'm going to get a couple of uh, energies, you know, from these oracle cards and then we will do the actual reading. This is for Taurus. Ooh. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. There we go. We're also going to get one of these. Service. I feel good when I can help others. So that must be a big part of your week is, is serving others. Hmm. All right. So let's see what else we have there, Taurus. Now this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I can tell right off the bat that many of you are probably having some, feeling cautious, okay? Feeling like you're not sure if you dare, if I even dare to love at this point, you know? Maybe I'd just be better off by myself because I don't want to get hurt. And, you know, I can just do my own thing. I'll do my own thing for now and work on helping others, but it's not really serving. I mean, it is serving you, but it's not. It feels like you're looking for love, but it's a lot of fear, okay? A lot of fear. And so with that, it's safe for you to love card. It tells me that you're being told to just open your heart. Open your heart, okay? To receive love. Try to let go of the fear. Um, it's time to set your clear intentions. It's time to make a clear decision. Do you want love or not? Many of you are feeling really good where you're at. You may be feeling like, you know, you're just enjoying the finer things in life right now. You've been through a period of healing. You've been through a period of growth. You are feeling abundant, okay? You've worked hard, and now you've accomplished something, all right? So you may be feeling really, really good in your own independence if you're single. Um, here we have the Justice card. This is about... Uh, decisions and again this is decisions as well so it looks like it's decision making time do you want love or not it's like it's really time to make a decision act now think later I mean it, it is decision making time Taurus there could be a lot of passion this week there could be a new partner that comes into your life that's very passionate but you are going to be called to do the right thing for yourself, to really make the choice. I feel like there's this heaviness within you with this card and this card and this card. There's this heaviness. I don't know. I don't know. Is this what I want or not? Do I want this? Do I? I mean, I've, been, I've done so well on my own. So you may be blocking it. Maybe you're blocking yourself from making a choice. I mean, why? Why are you blocking yourself? It's like you need to become aware of what you really want. It's time for you to love yourself unconditionally. All right? I feel like many of you have definitely gone through a huge healing process. And your psychic abilities are becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. But you're being called to really open your heart. Open your heart and let the love out and let love come in at the same time. Because, you know, here, it's, it's time for your success. It's time for your new chapter. It's time for this completion that is so much needed regarding a decision. It's the next step that you need to take. You need to take it. You need to take the step that's right for you, okay? And you really need to release some heaviness that you've been carrying around with you. You've been carrying around this heaviness that isn't allowing you to open your heart. Uh, although, you know, it's. Uh, I think that you guys have opened your heart to yourselves, but to others, that's a different story. 
But I think there's an unexpected choice in love. And now we have more decisions, 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 decisions. Okay? It's time to make a decision. You can't ignore it forever. I feel like there's an unexpected choice in love that has come into your life or is about to come into your life. And you have a pretty big decision in front of you. Do you take it? Do you really offer your heart? Do you, do you really allow love into your life? Or do you reject it? I mean, that's the question. Okay. And that is the question. Do you want a commitment or not? I mean, do you want a commitment or not? That's the, that's the question. Here we have that you need to free yourself from something. You need to remove this obstacle. Instead of living in a place of isolation, open your heart, Taurus. It's your choice. It's, this is a week of making a choice. Do you want a new contract with somebody or not? I mean, that's the question. There's a choice, there's a, you're being offered the opportunity to take action and let your passion and your love blossom and shine and be shared or not, okay? Either you want to be in this period of isolation, you want to be stuck where you're at, you want to feel mentally trapped, or you want to free yourself. What's it going to be? Let me get this zoomed in. Oh, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, let's get some clarifiers here. You're blocking this person. That's what's happening. When you really, ha you really have options here, but you're blocking it. Um, one of the reasons you're blocking it is because of your independence. You know, do you want to? Do I want to lose my independence or not? I mean, that's what it is. Do you want to lose your independence or do you not? I mean. Many of you are, don't want a commitment right now. Either you do or you don't. I think you do. It's wishy-washy. You have the opportunity here. Either you want it or you don't. And the fact of the matter is, is that it is decision-making time. Okay? And I think it's heavy because you know it is. There's a heaviness because you know that it's time to make a decision. Oh, these fell out. It's time for you to come out of the darkness. It is. It's time for you to come out of the darkness, you know. It's time for you to bring some balance back to your life. There's a purpose for everything. There's a reason for everything. You're being called to really, really open up. I see that you went through a lot of healing. You really worked on yourself. You've worked on blending. You worked on going through a renewal. And, and now it's time, okay? It's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to do the right thing for you. Speak up for yourself. I feel like you guys have been through some trials and challenges that have kind of closed your heart, okay? They, they've made you feel like, I don't want to go through that again. So now you've got your guard up. It's like, you know... I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can go through this again. I, I can't go through another broken heart. But you're being asked to broaden your horizons, to look at things from a different perspective, to build a new foundation elsewhere. Okay? This purpose had a major effect on you, which has caused you to put your guard up. But this card is saying it's time to stop feeling insecure and come out of the darkness. See the light. Because wherever that was, there wasn't wish fulfillment. It wasn't your destiny, because here we have destiny. It wasn't your destiny. It brought you some lessons. With the, this right here, it brought you some lessons. But it never was meant to be forever okay with this nine of cups reversed it wasn't it wasn't meant to fulfill your wishes okay it wasn't and here's your no here's your no that's the magician it wasn't meant to be forever whatever it was that has closed off your heart a little bit it taught you what you needed to do so that you could be comfortable with your independence so you could go through this time of healing and renewal that your soul needed 
okay? So this this all happened for a purpose, because this card is for a purpose. It did, to get you closer to what you actually need in your life, okay? But it, you know, it's, the worst is over, okay? The worst is over. It's time to take the swords out of your back, and let love in. Underneath this card, way underneath, is the Queen of Cups. Okay? It's time for you to love yourself unconditionally. And let, let your intuition drive. Follow your intuition. Listen to your psychic abilities. And love unconditionally. Let somebody love you. Okay? Let somebody love you. That's what I'm hearing. Let somebody love you. The worst is over. That, that trouble that you went through, that disappointment, that crisis, that loss, it's over. It's over. I feel like many of you have several options in love and you're being called to trust your instincts, but you still have that lack of love for yourself. I mean, that's what this says, reversed. You have options, plenty of them, but that lack of love for yourself is impacting your new beginning, which is so needed. If you would just love yourself without conditions, and that's what this reading is about, and remove yourself from this mental prison and shed the old and take action and use the resources within you to really get that ultimate healing you have. I think that you guys are enjoying the finer things in life. You're working on serving others and that's really doing you very well. That's where this service card comes out. Yeah, you're helping others, you're serving others and that's very fulfilling. But there's a piece that's missing and it's love. There's two pieces. It's love for yourself and love from another person. And that's what I see. If you would only love yourself because you have several options, then things would change. But I feel like there's a lack, a lack of focus. With both of these cards reversed, there's a lack of focus right now, a lack of concentration. Focus is needed. All right? Focus is needed. You have a soulmate, by the way. I mean, the empress and the emperor right next to each other, the mother and the father. You have a soulmate. Again, with the lovers underneath, there's a soulmate here in your future. In your future. But this is the message for this week. Let them in. Let them in. So what this tells me is that for those of you that have healed a lot, you're real, real, real close. You're real close to, to meeting this person. And it's going to come unexpectedly, very unexpectedly. And it could happen pretty quickly, okay, very fast. And you may be feeling like, I don't, this is, I can't, this, I don't even, this is unbelievable. And then you think back to the past where you were not treated fairly, not, not loved. Um, you were with somebody who was detached. You think back to that and you think, you know what, I can't go through that again. But you have to remember that not everybody or the next person is not the person that did that to you. Okay? So it is safe for you to love. And that is my message for this week. There's an opportunity for many of you that are at this point right here, feeling really good about themselves. Really, really, really good. Enjoying the finer things in their life, comfortably independent, 
plenty of money in the bank, you know, that kind of thing. Those people have the opportunity for an unexpected love to blossom if you are ready to let them in. So that's what I have, Taurus, for February 5th through February 11th. Talk to you later.